If you're like me, you love retro gaming. So much so that you have invested a considerable amount of time configuring emulators and installing game ROMs along with downloading video and picture snaps for your games. But unfortunately, a number of emulators require huge game ROMs files, like the PS2, and you're running out of storage space. A case in point, let me show you in this about to set a system, you can see there that I've used practically all my hard drive space. In fact, I've used 97% of my 2 terabyte SSD drive, but I still want to add more games and more emulators. What to do? So many games and so little space. Fortunately, there is a workable solution. That is, we can use game compression software to shrink a game ROM so that we can reclaim our storage space. That's exactly what this tutorial is all about. In fact, I'm going to show you how to use game compression software to reduce the game ROMs of eight, eight gaming consoles. This should be fun. Let's do it. everyone and welcome to about to set a nation so today we're gonna to be looking at compressing game ROMs for eight different consoles including PlayStation 1 PlayStation 2 Sega CD Sega Saturn Dreamcast GameCube and Wii and hopefully this will be the most comprehensive tutorial you'll find on the internet in terms of compressing our game ROMs. Now this channel is devoted exclusively for Batocera, but it doesn't matter what you're using, whether you're using Windows to run your emulators, or Linux, or Batocera, or RetroPie, or any other operating system, this will work for any of them. Now then, our YouTube channel is devoted exclusively for Batocera. If you don't know what Batocera is, simply state it. It's an operating system designed to play exclusively retro games, all the way up to PS3 and Kodi as well. Uh, so again, if you don't know what it's about, take a look at our channel. You can find out more about, about Batocera. But it doesn't matter because, again, this tutorial will work on any operating system. All right, let's proceed with our tutorial. So, first thing is first, I was inspired to create this tutorial as a result of some comments I received from Stefan, Sean, uh, and John, okay? And they were all advocating I should compress my games into the chat format. Now, for the PlayStation 1, I had already had them formatted to the PBP format, well, you know, which is a pretty good compression system, but they were saying, you know what, Chad's even better than that, so I decided to take a second look. And furthermore, John uh, was telling me about the CSO for PS2 and PSP, which I already had, in fact. Uh, but he also mentioned RVZ for GameCube and Wii. And that's something I did not know about. So as a result of all that, I decided to go ahead and create this tutorial. All right, let's proceed with the chat format. A chat stands for Compressed Hunks of Data. And originally, it was developed for Maine but now includes other consoles as well, including PlayStation 1, Sega CD, Sega Saturn, and Dreamcast. So here's the download link, okay? And I will be providing links in my video description on YouTube, so don't worry about trying to figure out what's what. Okay, so go ahead and click on that, version 5, and that will bring you to this, okay? And from here, go ahead and click on that and download it. All right, so once the files have downloaded, go ahead and unzip it, all right? And that will produce this folder with all these files. The only two that we need to be focused on are the first two, okay? These two right here, Chadman and this batch file. And these two, we're gonna be copying these to the different game ROM folders, okay? So let's do the first one, it's gonna be a PlayStation 1 tutorial, all right? So that's my sample game right here. Uh, now I noticed that a lot of people tend to use this app, all right? This converts the file into the PBP format. However, it turns out uh, the chat format offers you better compression. And shortly I will show you a comparison between the two so you can see for yourself. Okay, so again, so this is our sample game right here. This is a game that's divided into two different disks. In fact, for the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to perform a disk 
changing operation for the emulators within Bato Center. That's going to be our next tutorial on Bato Center Nation. All right, so go ahead. Uh, it's ready to go. Go ahead and click on this. You're going to see this, okay? Uh, and then let it do its thing. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all of this. All right, so the compression is complete. And there you can see that's the original. And there's the chat. Almost a reduction by 50%. And for comparison, here's the PBP format. Okay, you can see there, Chad did a better job than PBP, right? And then there's number two versus Chad versus the PBP format, all right? So again, ideally, you should go ahead and compress your PlayStation 1 game ROMs into Chad format. And this should work well uh, within your emulator, okay? So let's go ahead and proceed with the Sega CD example. So we have here just one game to work with. I went ahead already and copied these two files into the game ROM folder. Now for this file right here, unfortunately we're missing the CUE file, okay, the Q file. If you're missing it, there's a solution to that problem. Here's what you need to go to, all right? I will be providing a direct link in my video description. So go ahead and minimize this and then have this here highlighted and go ahead and select the game put it here okay and there it is unfortunately you can only do this one file at a time all right so go ahead and copy all that okay now we're going to create uh, a new file text format okay I'm not worry about the tile right just yet go ahead and copy all that information all right we're good. Save it. Okay. Let's go ahead and highlight this right here. Rename it. And copy. Control C. Go back to this document. Go ahead and rename it. Paste it. And then here, put C U E. Yes. Okay. Now we're good to go. Everything's there. Okay, now we're good to go. All right, so go ahead and click on that, and it should do it. Okay. Once again, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this section right here. Okay, so we are done. There's the original file, and there's the compressed chat format. Okay, it did a pretty good job. All right, let's go ahead and proceed with a Sega Saturn example. Okay, so for here, we have three different games right here. We have Alien Trilogy, Area 51, and Duke Nukem 3D. Okay, most of the game ROMs files you find for Sega Saturn will be found in this format, this CD format. Okay, so we're good to go. Everything is there. Everything is complete. There are some you'll find in ISO file format. In fact, there are some games out there for different consoles you also find ISO file format. So the question is, can Chadman convert ISO into Chad? Turns out there is a way. There's a solution. So here's what you need to do. Go ahead and right-click on the batch file. Okay, go into edit, and we're going to have to add something here, okay? Keep it the same format, and then just put ISO, okay? Everything else is the same, see that? All right, once you put ISO in there with the asterisk, go ahead and file and save it. Now we're good to go. So go ahead and double-click on that batch, and it will proceed to compress everything into the chat format. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all of this. Okay, so we are done. There's one right there. You can see the compression right there. There's number two, second compression right there. And there's Duke Nuka. You can see it was able to compress it. Not by much, but it still was able to compress something. All right. Later on, we're going to test this out in the Sega Saturn emulator within Batista, just to make sure it works. Okay, so let's go ahead and proceed with the next example. This is going to be Dreamcast example. All right, so here we have two games, Daytona USA and Frogger 2. Uh, and both of these are in a folder format. You can see there. Also has a GDI format as well. And this is how they look like, okay? The same thing for Frogger 2, GDI, that's the format. Okay, so turns out Chatman can convert these folders into chat as well. So I'll go ahead, double click on that one and then let it do its thing, all right? So once again, 
uh, I'll fast forward this section as well. All right, and we are done. You see that? There are the two chats right there. Okay, you may want to rename that just to make it simple for scraping, okay? But we're done right there. All right. Now, let's proceed with PSP and PS2, all right? For that, we do need another file. Let's go ahead and we need this file right here, Max CSO. okay? I will be providing a link in my video description. So here's uh, the latest version, and uh, download this one right here. You don't need a 32-bit. Go ahead and download this one, all right? Okay, so once we've downloaded, go ahead and unzip it, and this is the file we have, okay? It's a small little file here. So go ahead and copy this file into the PSP and the PS2 game ROM folder, okay? So let's proceed with the PSP example. Okay, there is this copy right there. I've got two games here as, as an example. All right, so go ahead and select both of them. And then, then drag it to the app, all right? And then it starts to compress it, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this as well. Okay, so we are done here. You can see there, there's a nearly 50% reduction from the original format to the CSO format. Uh, and for the second game, it's over 50% reduction. Huh? Not that bad. So I can see that CSO will save you quite a bit of space. All right now, let's go ahead and proceed with the PS2 example. Okay, so we, for the PS2 example, we have two games, God of War 2 and God of War 1. All right. So once again, let's go ahead and select them and then uh, drag it to the app. All right, this is gonna take a while. So we'll go ahead and fast forward this section as well. All right, so we are done. For God of War 2, you can see that the file reduction was almost 1.4 gigabyte, okay? For God of War 1, the file reduction was a little over one gigabyte, okay? So did a pretty good job. I'll also use this as an example, the GZ file format compression. This is the compression I was using for the longest time for PS2. And it turns out between the two, it's very similar. In fact, CSO is a little bit better than the GZ file compression. Uh, the disadvantage of having the GZ file format is that when it would load up for the very first time in the PS2 emulator, it would take a while for it to index everything before it would work. The second time, it would load up rather quickly, but the first time was such a hassle waiting for it to index everything. Now, with the CSO format, it doesn't need to do that. It opens it up really quickly. So. I really like the CSO format for PS2 compared to the GZ format instead. All right, let's go ahead and proceed now with uh, GameCube and Wii compression. All right, let's go into the Dolphin emulator. All right, there's my Dolphin emulator. Let's go into the ROMs folder. Okay, these are the games I have here. Four games. Two of them are GameCube and two of them are Wii games, okay? Let's go ahead and load it up, and there they are. Okay, so it turns out that the Dolphin emulator has a built-in game compression tool, and its file extension is RVZ, okay? So in order to do that, you have to select the games right here, okay? And then right-click on it. If it says convert files, uh, then you know you're good to go. Unfortunately for us, for this example, and I did this intentionally, uh, two of the games are not gonna work. Okay, so turns out the Wii games, the file format is not correct. Okay, so these are here, for some reason, the file format is not correct, but it is a way to fix it. But first thing is first, let's go ahead and focus on the GameCube games. So go ahead and select the first three right there. Right click on it, select convert selected files. Make sure the format is RVZ. Stick with the recommended compression and then go ahead and com convert. It's asking you where, select the same folder where the ROMs are stored, select folder, and then let it do its thing. Okay, so we are done. Go ahead, select okay, uh, and let's compare. You can see there, look at that, look at that reduction in file size, it's tremendous. Resident Evil, one, not so much. This two, not so much, okay? Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and delete the ones we no longer need. Go ahead and delete those. We don't need those no more. 
All right. So now we're going to go ahead and just test that out. My jingle's fine. Okay. Everything loads up really well. No problem. Resident Evil. Okay. All right. Now, let's focus on the Wii games, okay? Again, these, the file format here, it's not correct. There's some, something wrong with it. Unfortunately, there's a way to fix it. Okay, so to fix it, we need to go to this website. Uh, so this app tells you how to use it, okay? So this site here will tell you how to use the app itself, okay? But the actual app itself is found right here. And I will be providing a direct link in my video description. So go ahead, click on Download Now, uh, and download the file, okay? Once it's downloaded, go ahead and unzip it, and there it is, okay? So there's a lot of stuff here. The only thing you need to really focus on is the green app right here. So double, go ahead, double click on that. All right. Yeah, it's asking you about dragging and dropping files. So let's go back to the realms folder. And there it is. Go ahead, bring it back up again. We can close this out. We don't need it right now. All right, go ahead and select these two. And Bring it over here, okay? For select mode, go ahead and pick convert to ISO, all right? This tells you where the file is gonna be stored once it's processed, there's a temp file right there. And everything else, just keep it the same. And then go ahead and press process, okay? It's gonna take a while before it completes its task. So I'll go ahead and fast forward this section right here. Okay, so we are done right here. Let's go ahead and close this out. Let's go back to the folder. What's that? Right here. Processed. Uh, we match fail. And there it is. Okay. Go ahead and select that. Let's go ahead and copy and paste it to Dolphin folder. Okay. Press that. Paste it there. Okay, so the files are there. Let's go ahead and delete the, these files. We don't need them anymore. Delete that. And let's go ahead and load up Dolphin again. All right, so there they are. Okay. Now we can select it, both of them. Right-click on it. There it is, Convert Selected File. So now we know the format is correct. So go ahead and click on that. RVZ, Standard Recommendation. Let's go ahead and convert those. Same folder. And then let it do its thing and we'll fast forward this okay so we are done go ahead and there they are you can see from the original one we reduce right there reduce right there okay so let's go ahead and delete those we don't need them yeah all right so there they are click on it it's working Right, and the other one. All right, it's working. We've got it. Okay, so we got file compression uh, in the Wii and the GameCube games. All right, so we're done with this part of the tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and close this out. The only thing else I want to do is I want to test out the Duke Nukem 3D uh, in the chat format just to make sure. Uh, that it works since it was converted from ISO to chat and that's not part of the chatman original batch file So I'm gonna make sure it works before we wrap everything up. All right, so I'll see you in a little bit in Batocera Okay, so we're back in Batocera. Let's go ahead and press F1 on the keyboard to get out of this All right, let's go into my portable hard drive. Let's go into my ROMs folder Saturn, let's go ahead and select all copy go into ROMs Saturn and paste everything. All right. Okay, we'll press start on the game pad, game settings, update games list. Yes. Okay, go on to, uh, and there it is. And there are the games. Okay. So, again, the only one we really want to test out. Uh, is Duke Nukem 3D because we had to convert that from ISO to a chat format and we want to make sure that the, it, it did convert properly. All right, so let's go ahead and select the game. And it loaded up. 
So now we know that Chad Man can convert ISO file formats into Chad. <laughs> okay, we can get out of this. Okay, so that is a wrap. If you found this video useful, please go ahead and like. And that will help me out with the YouTube algorithms. Uh, if this is your first time with Batocetta Nation, take a look at our channel. If you're curious about Batocetta, you'll find out everything you need to know about Batocetta and what a great operating system this is for retro gaming. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And now, for our next tutorial, we will have here a PlayStation game Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, CD1, and CD2. So a question I have been asked a lot is, how do you change from CD1 to CD2 in the middle of the game within the emulator? That's the question I'm going to tackle next time on Batocetta Nation. So stay tuned, and I'll see you next time on Batocetta Nation. Thank you for watching. Bye.